28-year-old Donna Voschel was well-trained in life-saving techniques, and twice before she had used those skills to save the lives of two local children. But on November 14, 1989, one of Donna's own kids would desperately need her help. Donna had stayed in Norfolk, Virginia with her four kids. That's a good boy, Ryan. The men overseas like to hear what's happening in their hometown. Around 9 a.m., Robert Gower and Donald Coleman arrived to finish installing an air conditioning unit in back of Donna's house. This is our last day on the job, and uh, we had only had about a half a day's left of work to do. Being a mother of four children, I seem to be able to tune in to where my, what my kids are doing, even when they're out of my sight or if I'm not looking directly at them. You got your tape measure? No, I'm just kidding. Take it over here. Back to get your drill plug in. The baby reached up on top of the TV, and I thought he was just reaching up to pick up a magazine. I knew right away that he was choking on something, but I had no idea what. Mommy! Ryan, cough it up! Come on, Ryan! Cough it up, baby! Come on! Ryan! Ryan! Come on, Ryan! Ryan! Then there was no change at all. He still had a total blockage of air. Come on, sweetheart! Come on, baby! My baby is slipping away. Come on, Ryan! I definitely needed help. It had been two minutes since Ryan stopped breathing. I really didn't know what we could do. I thought to myself, just go up there and try to do something. Neither of the men had training in first aid. Yeah, go down now and watch. Okay. Yeah, you stop breathing either, dog. Stop the police, I'm trying to carry him. I, I saw a baby that's choking. Come on, boy. See if you feel something in his throat. I don't see a he was struggling for air. I mean, I could tell he wasn't breathing. He was just, like, gasping. And uh, I said, you know, I thought to myself, man, we, we got problems here, you know. I don't know if it's going to work, Don. Come on. Uh, then I thought, we let's try this highway maneuver. Um, Let me try this. I didn't know how to do it, but I just, I've seen pictures of it done and heard people talk about how it's done, so I just tried that. Come on, go on, boy. Spin it up. Come on, son. So thankful that he was okay. Lucky. He's all right now, isn't he? Yeah, he's okay. You ready? Ready? Ryan has suffered no ill effects from the incident. Three months later, he seems to have forgotten all about it. The whole event was extremely terrifying. We feel this overwhelming responsibility to this child who is looking to you to make it all better and here comes a situation where you can't make it all better it was very overwhelming uh, not to help i mean how can somebody ask you to help her in a situation like that how can you, you know you can't say no i didn't have time to think about it really i just ran up and tried to do what i could do you know or whatever i could do to help I thought it was very ironic that they have no training and I've been trained for 10 years. They didn't think twice about being and getting involved.